Welcome to a TUSD Robotics production. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to create speed and torque gear ratios using the gear relation tool. Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Williams again, and today I'm going to show you how to take some gears off and put some new gears onto this gear train. So this was the lesson one to one gear ratio. So we're going to use this same document and we're just going to, going to adjust it to complete this next lesson by making speed and torque gear ratios. One thing you'll find is that when I come over here to my left side menu, when I hover over the part, it highlights it in the workspace. And so here I have this gear right here that's attached to the motor. I've got my shaft collar. I've got the axle to the right. I've got the gear to the right, the, that's the shaft color on the back and the shaft color on the front. So what you need to decide is which gear are you gonna remove and what kind of gear are you gonna add? So I would imagine that it's probably easier to get rid of this gear because it's not attached to the motor. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these parts that I put in, which is also going to delete the constraints. So if I hover over the constraints, you can see where these constraints, uh, when it highlights them. So here's the Revolute Mate, the Fastener Mate, but these don't really matter because when I get rid of the parts, the mates go away too. So here, let me get rid of this shaft collar. I'm gonna right click on it and then go to delete. Okay, notice the shaft color goes away, but so does the fastener mate for that one. So here we go, let's do this again. I'm gonna get rid of the back shaft color, right click, delete. Notice that a mate goes away as well because that part is gone. All right, this is the gear, I wanna get rid of this one. I'm gonna delete. Now on this final axle, I wanna use it again, but it's gonna actually probably need to move just depending on which gear that I add on. So I'm not gonna delete this one, but I do want to take the constraints off. And so I do know that this was a Revolute Mate. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually get rid of the gear relation because we're gonna have a different gear ratio. So I'm gonna right click and delete the gear relation tool. I'm also gonna get rid of this Revolute Mate. Okay. So now I'm in a place that I can start this next lesson to make the speed and torque ratio. So I'm gonna take this axle and because I got rid of that Revolute Mate, I can actually pull it out now and it's not constrained onto the beam. Now the question is, what gear are you gonna add and what hole do you need to use so that the teeth mesh? And so if I go to my insert menu and I look at what gears I have here, I can add a 12 tooth let me put that in there, or I can add a 60 tooth. So these are your two gears that you have to choose from. So I'm gonna check mark to accept. Now, one of them I'm gonna use for a speed ratio, and the other one I'm gonna use for a torque ratio. And I'm gonna let you figure out which one is which, but the trick I showed you in the last video is if I turn this up and I kind of move it to where it goes, you can see when I move this whole thing, which axle that's gonna go through. So that's that will use, this axle will go with a Revolute Mate to the hole right next to the gear if I choose to use the 12 tooth. And if I choose to use this one, can I rotate, oh, double click to deselect both of those, they got grouped together. Let's see, can I move it this way or do I need to change? Oh, there we go. close enough. Okay, so if I come down here, actually let me go back to the isometric view because I can't quite get it going where I want. Let me move this gear up a little bit, back a little bit. Oop, looks like it's rolling. There we go, right about there. Okay, so now if I look, if I place it, it's kind of hard to tell. I'll let you figure this out, which hole it goes in. But if I mesh these teeth together, I'm not doing it perfect right now, it looks like Let's see. Let me pull it back a little bit. Man, this is tricky. Now just be patient with Onshape. You'll get better at it. Um, it's definitely something that you just need practice with. Okay, and so if I move it a little bit this way, can I see what hole it is? Okay, I can. So the question is, what hole is that behind there? So I can flip it around and kind of see this is a better view. I'm gonna probably do one, two, the third hole down to use this gear right here. But I'm not going to take you step by step through this lesson. 
you are going to use your knowledge of constraints and revolute mates and gear ratios and you need to figure out how to get these gears to mesh together, first of all, using mates, and then using the gear relation tool, what will your gear relation be? So if I look in my parts list, I have a 12 tooth, a 36, and a 60 tooth. Okay, so just like magic, I have already added my gear on and the shock collar and the revolute mate for the new axle position. And so this is something you're gonna try to do on your own without following step-by-step -step since you have all the tools now necessary to know how to do this. But I have added a gear relation, as you can see right here, and it's no longer a one-on-one -on -one gear ratio, but you need to figure out what that gear relation is gonna be and which revolute mate you hit first to make it look right. So when I go to my animate now of the revolute mate and I animate this, you will see that when I hit play, this smaller gear is spinning faster than this larger gear. So the question for you in your assignment will be, is this a speed ratio or a torque ratio? And can you get it so that it actually looks like this where this gear is spinning faster than this gear using the gear relation tool? All right, good luck with your assignment.